shopping on the TTC has never been easier. Starting today, you can now use a credit card, a debit card, even your mobile wallet or a smartwatch to pay for any form of transportation. Now, Toronto is the last transit system in the GTHA to expand payment options, and today riders are telling us it's about time. That's amazing. <laughs> I often run out of money on my Presto cards, so I would definitely use that. It's been a long time coming for regulars on the TTC, and many are already taking advantage of the new ways to pay. Like no one uses their card anymore. It's always like tap with phone, so I don't want to like have to like take my card out of my pocket every time, get my wallet. Oh, we're so behind. I feel like other cities have had that for years, so I'm glad it's catching up. Are you are you a Presto user? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and what is it like when your your card is out and you got to line up for money? So annoying, infuriating. So this is a lot better. The variety of tap on options is also a huge draw for tourists. So Jad tells me it was a major convenience during his recent travels. I went to New York a couple weeks ago, and if I didn't have like the phone tap there, I I don't know how I would have gone around. It was it was great there. I think this will be perfect for tourists. So here's what you need to know you cannot use the same card to tap on more than one person at a time and senior and student discounts are only calculated when using Presto cards, not the other forms of payment. It only deducts an adult fare if you're paying this way. So it's the $3.30, which is a nickel cheaper than using cash. It's the same as a single Presto tap. Uh, it doesn't recognize concessions because the card itself doesn't know if you're a senior or a student or an adult. And with the new technology rolling out on the transit system's 10,000 readers, City News is hearing about some riders being double charged. The TTC's Stuart Green says phantom taps are not common but are possible. If you have a, multiple cards in your wallet, for example, it might catch one or two of those cards. Uh, so just that's one of the things that we do remind people about. Be very deliberate in the card you're using, similar to if you're in the store and you're tapping on a device with your wallet or your phone or your card, whatever. How do fair inspectors crack down on this? So it's it's no different than using a Presto card. Uh, whatever device you use to tap on, if you use a, a card, uh, your watch or, or your phone, uh, the, the uh, handheld readers that the fair inspectors have will read the same device. Eventually, there will be a Presto wallet that you can add to your smartphone for further convenience it will be able to recognize things like a student and senior discounts. I'm being told that will be rolling out later this year. Outside Davisville Station, Shauna Hunt City News.